Be nice. Be nice. Okay, you don't want to be my friend. That's fine. Hey guys. Hi. <coughs> yeah. Where do I start? Um, I don't have my top braces anymore. How do I look? Do I still look 12? Who is she? Who is, who is she? Who is she? Because... Anyways, today we are going to be doing uh, how I kind of control this mess, you know. I'm really struggling right now and life is just really hard. <laughs> but anyways, back to your regularly scheduled program. So unfortunately, I didn't have all my favorite products because I just can't go to the store. Especially when it, goes, it comes to like hair products, I'll go in there for like one thing and then I'll read all these labels like, ooh, moisturizing, uh, curl defining, like, you know how it is. I dread washing my hair more than I dread doing my homework and I honestly think that's because, I don't know, I only wash my hair once a week. Uh, the really, the only reason I ever wash my hair is if it's getting like really tangled and matted and just not defined anymore. I don't have a problem with an oily scalp, I've never had that problem. I hope you guys enjoy. Um, I had a bathing suit on, by the way, uh, before anybody comes for me. This is not child pornography. We do not do that around here. Let's get into it. The first thing I do is I take my hair down and as you can see, I look like a crazy person. And I just like to kind of walk, let my hair run under the water for a little bit. Before I go in with like any product, I try to like detangle my hair a little bit lightly. Then I take the Garnier Whole Blends Conditioner. It's like the Moroccan and Argan one, I think. Another really good one for this is the Aussie Moist Conditioner. The one I buy the big purple bottle. It lasts forever. I just actually ran out of my big purple bottle, so that's the one that I tried to have. The Garnier is the one that I've been using in place of that, and it works the same. It's just the Aussie, it has such good slip. And if you don't know what that word means, basically it literally just like runs through your hair like butter. I separate my hair in two and I do one side at a time and I just rake my hands through it and the screen started to fog up so I only got a little bit of the footage but I, I do that all around my both sides both sections and then after that I just take another big <laughs> big handful of it and do my whole head all at once just to make sure there's no tangles and next I take a uh, co-wash and I take uh, the Paul Mitchell it's like the tea tree oil shampoo and I mix them together like I put more co-wash in my hand than I do shampoo next I mix a cleansing conditioner and a shampoo right now I'm using the Ren Pure Solutions Rosemary Mint Cleansing Conditioner I'm probably gonna be out the next time I use it and then the shampoo I use is the Paul Mitchell tea tree special shampoo and this is like mint these together are amazing. I don't use, I don't want to use all shampoo because my hair doesn't, like I said, it really doesn't get dirty. It just gets tangled and matted and that's really the only reason it needs to be washed other than the fact that I'm a clean human being. I just do that on the root. I work that into the root of my hair. I let it sit for about two minutes and then I just let the water rinse the con the cleansing conditioner and the shampoo through the rest of my hair. So next, I rinse that out. I rinse my hair out super, 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 super good, making sure no shampoo is left behind, no cleansing conditioner is left behind. I go in with deep conditioner next. The deep conditioner I've been using is the Diva Girl Melt Into Moisture Matcha Butter Conditioning Mask. 
and this stuff is amazing. It's expensive, but it is so worth it. And it's so thick. You don't need a lot of it. And I have a good amount of hair, I think. And I don't use a lot of this. I've used it like four times and I barely put a dent in it. Another good one is the Macadamia Nut Repair Mask. It's in the like brown bottle with the green on it. That one's also a little bit more on the pricey side, but they're so, the thing, amazing. Like literally a miracle worker. So I let the deep conditioner sit in my hair usually overnight, but I didn't this time. I just let it sit in my hair for like five, four or five hours because it was in the middle of the day. So I just let it sit. I get back in the shower, I rinse it out, and this crucial, it's not gonna seem crucial, but it works. I dry my hair off with a t-shirt, a big t-shirt. I do not use a towel and I'm gonna tell you why. I have found that versus using a towel and a t-shirt, a t-shirt literally it's, you know the loops and towels, those snag on your hair and cause you to have split ends. A cotton t-shirt on the other hand is not going to do that. It literally soaks up all the moisture without snagging at your hair. And when you snag at your hair, that causes extra frizz that we don't want. I take a little section, I put the rest of my hair up, I split that section into two, and I wet my hair, and I do this for every single section, I wet my hair, and I use the lock method. It stands for leave-in oil cream. So the leave-in I've been using is the Curls Blueberry Bit Bliss Reparative Leave-In Conditioner. It was on sale at Target. It's honestly probably one of the best leave-in conditioners I've used so far. It has no sulfates, silicones, parabens, artificial oils, colors, fragrances, anything like that. Then I was using the Organics uh, Moroccan Oil, but I ran out of that like halfway through the video. So I have been using the Shea Moisture 100% Pure Argan Oil, and oil is good for curly hair. Like, oil is probably your curly hair's best friend. It's amazing. Then for my cream, which is like basically a styler, I usually use the Shea Moisture Curl Enhancing Smoothie. If you are a curly sister and you have not tried that, I would put that at like the top of your try list. And if it doesn't work, I am so sorry. And I'm in a viscous curl and style milk. And I've used this stuff before. It's literally the exact same thing, just a thinner version of the Curl Enhancing Smoothie. So if you don't like fat and it's just too thick for your hair then try this because this whole line is amazing the shampoo is amazing the conditioner is amazing i don't know if they have a deep conditioner yet but if they do that would be iconic and the gel for this is so good i don't use gel since it's starting to get a little bit colder outside i use gel in the summertime what i do i take this little the little section i have i look at the curls that i have you want to follow the pattern that the way that they are going do not go the opposite direction you don't want to fight it and literally you just twist and you keep doing that you don't you can do as, as big as you want you can do them as small as you want I usually just try to see where the most curl is and do that do that to my whole head it literally takes 20 minutes it seems time-consuming but it's really not
after I'm done, I let my hair air dry. If I'm in a rush or if I'm going to bed, then I let my hair blow dry. If you have curly hair, never go to bed with wet hair. Your hair will not turn out the same. I don't know why, but it won't. This was the next morning, so excuse my appearance. Well, excuse my appearance in this whole video, <laughs> honestly. So as you can see, my hair is super tiny compared to what it looks like right now. And the key to keeping the twisting method and the volume and not the frizz, I figured it out. I completely wet my hair uh, one section at a t one side at a time. And then I put the leave-in conditioner in it and I let it dry and it's just perfect. That's the, that's the routine. I hope you enjoyed. I would love to do like a curly hair series. I'm about to straighten my hair so I can show you guys that too or my favorite products because there are so many different, When it's so amazing like once you find what works for your hair, what, what can happen. <laughs> so yeah, thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys next Wednesday.